Hey friends, I've created this card with a spinning Ferris wheel and spinning gondolas and thought I might create a quick tutorial to demonstrate you how the mechanism works and how I build it and hope this will be helpful to you. Let's get started. So to begin, we need to stamp our images, um, the individual parts of the Ferris wheel. So we need six gondolas. Um, meaning we have to stamp the ferris wheel twice and mask off um, all the wheel part to be left with the six gondolas. And we need six because there's an empty space behind the pole and we need to fill that with the six gondola. Then we need the wheel part. So we have to stamp it again and mask off the, the gondolas and the pole. And then stamp it again and mask everything but the pole. So let's start with the masking. If I have to stamp and die cut multiple of the same image, I like to pre die cut them and then use a, um, a mask for stamping. So to do that, I will need a piece of scrap paper and then stamp my image onto that piece of scrap paper. Then I align my mask and then I can um, put my pre die cut images in the negative space of the mask and always get a stamped image in the same position. Now I can mask off the parts of the image that I don't want to stamp and for that I use this full stick post-it tape and cut it into pieces and place it onto my stamp. And to not bother you with this whole tedious process, I uh, skip the hat and everything is masked. Now I can apply my, my ink. I'm using Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink because it's Copic friendly. And then I have to remove the masks before stamping. And with Video Magic, all mask pieces are gone and I can stamp. And here's the finished piece. Um, I need to draw in some of the missing lines and use a white gel pen to remove parts where I didn't properly mask. And then I can repeat this process, um, place my masks on my stamp to mask everything but the gondolas, apply ink, remove the masks and stamp my image. And then I needed to repeat the process for the wheel and the pole. So now it's time to clean the stamped images. So drawing in missing parts or removing unwanted parts with the white gel pen. So I finished the six gondolas and the pole. And for my wheel part, I need to put back in that small piece at the bottom between the two pole legs that was cut off by the die because I will need to draw in a connector line. So I use just a piece of, of tape uh, that I put on the back and then place this small triangle back in. And now I can draw uh, in my lines. Um, for the for the round pieces, you can use, for example, a circle die, which I did, um, to get some clean circles. 
and I use the ruler for the for the straight pieces. And now we can cut out the, the gondolas and the pole, but we have to wait for the wheel part because we need to cut some holes and then cut around them. So I've cut out the six gondolas and the pole and the next step would be to color in those images. But since this is just a demonstration of the technique, I skipped that step and worked with a plain image. Next thing to do is to put some kind of weight behind the cabin to keep the orientation always bottom down. And we need something to fit behind it. So I used wire that I cut into pieces. Um, you can use anything heavy, small and flat. For example, magnetic sheets or something alike. So to attach these wire pieces, I use some double-sided adhesive tape that I will put on the back of my gondola. Um, at the bottom. That's important because we want to have the weight at the bottom. Then I place my wire pieces into the exposed adhesive. Pressing them down firmly. And then, um, because this is a rough surface and it might get stuck, and hinder the spinning mechanism, I will need to back this. So I just cut another gondola, just a plain one, a little bit, and cut it a little bit smaller than the top piece. Then I will take a piece of um, double-sided adhesive with the same height as the wire pieces and use some liquid glue on top of the wire pieces to make sure they don't fall off. And then I attach my backing piece to that. So to attach our gondolas to the wheel and to enable them to freely spin, we need these foam circles, foam dots. At least this is what I used. Um, and additionally, we need a hole punch that cuts a hole that is slightly bigger. So I need that, I use that very cheap hole punch because it has a perfect size. As you can see, the hole it cuts is just slightly bigger than this foam circle. And with this hole punch, we will need to cut holes um, in the wheel piece uh, at the spots where the connector meets the wheel. So after that's done, we need to cut around the holes um, to just have a thin border around it. Okay, after that's done, it looks like that. So we just have a thin border um, around the holes. And now you need to color in your image, um, which I will skip. Again, this is just a demonstration piece. So to attach the gondola, I will use one of those foam circles and attach it to the gondola. And I found if you place it above the center, it will um, keep its orientation better, but you just can try it out. So I placed it above the center and put it through one of the holes. And now we need a backing piece to secure it in place. Um, I found a, a round piece of acetate to work best. So I will use a hole punch or circle die that is bigger than the hole. But you can use paper or whatever you want. But I found the acetate circle to work best. And here you can see how I secured the gondola in place. And we can try to spin it and it perfectly works. 
So now we need to attach the wheel to a card base and enable it to spin as well. So for the, this purpose, I used the Rebuio dies. And I will also use one of those foam circles. And to attach everything together, I need to find the center point of the wheel um, in my background piece. And for that, I used a template. And you can find a video on my channel on how I created a template and its original purpose. But it was very helpful for me to, to find that center point. To cut a hole into the piece that is bigger than the foam circles, I can't use my hole punch since this isn't go in far enough. So I will have to use a circle die to do that. So I've cut the hole and now I can take one of the foam circles, place it on my reveal wheel, put it through the hole of my background piece and attach my wheel. And you can see that you can spin the wheel by spinning the, the reveal wheel and the gondola is keeping its orientation. And when you decorate it, it will look like that. And I really hope that this tutorial was helpful to you and I thank you very much for watching. Bye!